Hi, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the macOS Pixel final version on VirtualBox on Windows 10. So the very first step is that you have to download the required files. The very first thing is that the VirtualBox itself. Uh, visit the virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and from there you have to download the uh, Vin, sorry, VirtualBox, the Windows host version, and alongside that one, you have to download the VirtualBox uh, extension pack. So I have already downloaded these two, and I am going to install these two in a moment. The next thing is you have to download the macOS Pixel ISO final version. You can have a look at here. It is the uh, macOS Pixel 11.0.1. It is the latest version. Uh, there is the second thing that you have to download and there is one more thing which is basically code you will have to download this code either so i'll provide everything in the description basically whatever i'm going to tell you in this video they are already been listed in this post inside the interzone.com uh, the title is basically uh, install macOS bricks around vm or sorry uh, on VirtualBox, if you have searched, that will appear. I have opened the wrong post, so I'm sorry for this one. But I have provided, uh, I will provide everything in the download uh, in the description link. So without further delay, let's just go ahead and start installing the VirtualBox. And after that one, we will move to the next step. So installing is basically so much easy. Just next yes and again yes, and this will be installed in a moment. install okay now the virtual box has been installed if i have to click finish you you will see that it is going to launch itself so uh, for now i'm going to exit this one i have to install the virtual box extension pack which i have already downloaded it is 10.6 megabyte so once you click on that one the installation window will open scroll down to the end agree to the terms and condition and once it's done okay the installation is complete so this is from the very first step that you will have to deal with so the next step is you will have to create a new virtual machine basically make os big sir i'm going to save it in okay that's fine the thing is fine and choose next uh the ram 4096 it will be 4 gb of ram and then next, uh, choose create a new virtual machine, sorry, hard disk and VDI will be fine or VMDK. There will be no, no matter where, which ever you use. I will also go with the dynamic allocated. So the amount of storage, um, how about it has to be around 100 GB and then create. So this portion is done. Now let's go and customize the settings of the macOS Pixel. So advanced step, uh, they are fine. Description, system, uncheck the floppy. Okay, now they are fine. Processor, I will increase it to two. Acceleration, how about this one? It will have to be the default. And then the video memory, 128 megabyte. And then um, the other stuff are fine. Storage, so choose this one and choose an, on this one and now locate the macOS Pixel ISO which is basically in the desktop here you can have a look here and then choose it uh, and okay oops sorry I forgot the other settings and then there will be the other settings 100 storage is done audio okay serial ports and the USB USB 3.0 make sure that has to be that one and once you are done with this portion you will need this name of the mac os pixel you just created right now and then go to file and exit now open up the cmd and run it as administrator okay this is the very first step and then the second step is that you will have to uh, open up the code section and then go to file and replace okay replace with name Copy this one here and then control V paste replace all. Now you will have to paste each one of this code one by one here. So why it is not working? No idea. Control C copy paste. Okay.
code number three okay now let's go to the code number four control c copy paste and then finally last one okay now it's done just go ahead and exit both of them now run the virtual box and start installing of the macOS Big Sur. okay you will have to choose the language um, and then click next or basically continue here it is asking from us that which option you are going to use basically disk utility because we are performing a clean installation and then choose continue uh, after that one you will have to erase the disk that you created before so basically that was this one mm. here is the erase button and then provide a name make os big sir into zoom okay then choose erase now once it's done just close the disk utility and now choose install macOS Big Sur choose continue agree to the terms and condition of the apples and then also again agree now choose the disk and click continue now this will take some time because it is going to copy all the files from the ISO inside the hard disk that you mentioned for it. It is going to take some time and also it depends on your system. Uh, my system is basically Lenovo uh, Core i5 gener uh, generation 7th with 500 GB SSD and 8 GB of RAM. Um, let's see, I think it will take about half an hour or maybe less so once it's done i will be back with you guys okay once that portion was completed now that will restore itself basically the os will restore and now it will finish this code lines and it will be on the apple logo basically it will take some time there too so i will be back with you okay here you can have a look here that the codes they have finally finished now you can have a look here it is basically uh, trying to install the Mac OS so it will take some time I'll be back with you again well finally it is come to this window it took almost around 15 minutes it's it was too long I was so bored so here is finally the window where we'll have to choose the country basically uh, okay, the U United States where will, will be. Uh, you will have to choose the region uh, very carefully because uh, keyboard language everything will be set according to that one. United Kingdom would be also fine because basically I'll be typing. 
only English so click continue uh, based in the country it will bring the languages for the keyboard that country that has to offer uh, it is kind of lucky but it has to work okay here is the accessibility and also choose not now because basically we don't have any problem with this one uh, data and privacy choose continue okay migration assistant no not now because we have nothing to migrate from any other thing so sign in with your apple id i will just choose set up letter okay are you sure yes skip agree to the terms and condition also agree Let's continue. Okay, choose continue again. Uh, okay, for this portion, I will just set up the screen time later. Okay, what about Siri? Do you want to enable it? I don't like Siri, so I'm just going to uncheck the box and then choose continue. okay here are the look it is asking which look do you want to prefer uh, how about the auto it has to choose best on the night or day and then choose continue okay the final step now it is setting up the mac uh, it really is heavy so for now it it is too slow once it's done i hope the slow version maybe the problem should be sorted out Okay, now the macOS Big Sur final version is now installed inside the virtual box in Windows 10. So let's see if it is still slow about this Mac. And okay, it's better now. It is really, really good, not bad compared to the 
during the installation that it was too slow so it is saying that macbook pro 4 gb of ram and then 3 mb of whatever that is so leave it it is good not bad compared to that one okay now here is the eyes of the mac os pixel and it is the display issue which is 1020 by 768 so there is a method you can fix the display but before that one let me i have to go to the settings system preferences and see how the dark mode and how the light mode basically looks so where is where is the theme i think it will be in the display okay now i admit it is slow it is really slow okay general okay let me see if really is too much uh, heavy so how much of the disk it is using so you can have a look here it is heavy it is almost using the 80 percent of the cpu and then the memory 85 percent so no wonder it is too much slow there has to be a method to fix this uh, okay okay now here is the general settings So basically this is how you will install the macOS Pixel inside the virtual box uh, on Windows. Uh, for now I'm going to close the recording and uh, after that one I will basically restart the macOS Pixel inside the virtual machine then I'll see if it was slow then I have uh, basically I will do some experiment uh, if it continues with these leggy stuff I will let you know in the comments and otherwise if it also fixed i will also let you know how to fix the leggy thing here inside the macOS Pixel on uh, virtual machine on windows 10 so next time have a nice time and goodbye